everyone had a nice break. Not too strenuous. So, have you ever found this interesting or difficult? I found it interesting. Was that? Because I'm really not good with knowing where to put the commas. Mm. So I'm glad that we're doing it so that I can learn. All right, now, before we get to actually reviewing this, we're going to just go over a couple of concepts. Okay. This was done as a litmus test. Who here knows what a litmus test is? To see where we're at. A litmus test involves acids and bases, and depending on what uh, what color the paper turns, you can determine whether the substance, uh, litmus paper turns, uh, whether the substance is acid or base or somewhere in between. Uh, in this case, I'm seeing where your grammatical acidity is. Okay. Uh, like where? Say, you, what's the starting point for you guys? No question. Yeah. You're not seeing us all as an individual. You're seeing us more like a team. Yeah, that's true. So that's it's kind of complicated because she can probably be like good with finding out where her punctuations should be. I might know it or put it in the wrong way. And then you won't go on the individual. Part. It's true, but I'll also be collecting these with your names on them. So I will have it more. Well, what you do with the When we go over it. it. Right. When we go over it, we're not to change it, though. All right. Okay? So when I correct you, don't mark it. Not yet. I want to see where you guys are. I mean, I'm going to tell you what's right and wrong, at least from this point. But when you hand these in to me, and then when I give them back to you Thursday, I'll have a better understanding of where you are grammatically. And our two enemies in this uh, this little demonstration are, well actually there's only really one big one. And it's the bane of uh, it's the bane of a lot of writers, and especially some some more flamboyant styles of business writing are uh, called a run-on sentence. Mm. You'll notice that there's no periods anywhere in this paragraph, not even at the end. Meaning that if we took it at completely face value, it's all meant to be one thought, which it can't be, obviously. Uh, unless we're eating comics, in which case, well, we have different problems. Okay, so, who here wants to start me off? We'll review this in a bit. Yes, Mr. Mr. Martinez. Dear mom and dad, comma. Excellent. I am in my cabin here at Camp Cat. And what is it? Punk? Punk. Punk. Period. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's right. Good. So. That's right. Yeah, that's right. right Period. So that one was right. And you see where I got the circles in the Right, all right. So, can anyone hear, and I'm going to review this, and you're going to hear me say this about a kajillion times over the course of the class is that, uh, and I'm sure you all know this, but, you know, repeat something until people, you know, have it burned into their souls. Uh, a comma is a pause. Yeah. Not J, but that's meant to be an oversized comma, because my handwriting is, quite frankly, horrifying, and small children run when they see it. Um, so a comma is a pause. Now, the problem with the comma, at least in, as so far as a lot of people use it, is they overuse it. When you pause even slightly to get breath, they put in a comma. And they think sometimes that, and this is how you get run-ons, the phrase I just erased, is uh, just saying, and I guess this could be part of the thought. So comma, 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 and stone periods. It's no good. It's a dangerous slope, so use them sparingly when possible. Ah. What would you do in that case if um, you didn't want to put all of those comments and you just don't put them in it? No. And, and, and let the sentence become a run on? No, you should never let the sentence become a run on. Rather, in the scenario you're, the scenario you are describing, yes. it would be better to uh, split it into short, complete sentences yeah, okay. and leave commas out of it. Because okay. at least those, those can't be understood. And I'm not tired at all. I'm totally not dropping the pencil. Especially when you're going to go on the fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you know when it's uh, a run-on. Right. 
so the prime example from what Oscar just did was, you know, dear mom and dad, comma. comma. And that's just basic writing protocol. Dear anyone, comma, or in business letters, sometimes you can do slash or colon. Right. Now I would do a colon. <coughs> All right. Question. Yes. Um, I missed that first comment behind dear mom and dad. But I was looking at it as if it was a letter. Mm -hmm. um, when you're writing a business letter to the individuals and you have their title and their first line is dear, mm -hmm. so and so, you actually supposed to put a comment in that or just leave it? Dear so and so? Like as a general rule of letter writing? Yes. Yes. You should. Really? You can yeah. do it without it, but. The way I like to do it is with a comma. It, it sets because a good tone. Because spell check wouldn't catch that. Spell check doesn't care uh, about this one anyway. Yeah, anyway, give you hints to put something in or a green line or things like that. Oh, you mean the grammar check? Yeah, sometimes it'll do it, but more often than not, it believes it's fine. All right, so what are the rules of capitalization? I'm sure you guys already know this. What's automatically capitalized? Three things. Ms. Uh, Blackman, Ms. Brody, and Ms. Martinez. Nouns, Martina. person, special things, places, uh, holidays, uh, calendars, just, days of the week, maybe. The beginning of a Jesus, sentence. Jesus, Jenna, I just asked for one thing. Oh, okay. No. The beginning of a sentence. Beginning right, of a sentence. The beginning of a sentence is the most important. Yes. Okay? Okay. Then comes titles, like, you know, the mayor, uh, or, you know. Proper nouns. Right, proper nouns. Things that are titles, too. Ms. Roslyn, you okay? You need to be excused? I'm all right. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. No, I know, I know. Mr. Martinez, it's the last case that you used capital Last case of the person? Yeah, proper names. Proper like, for names. example... Well, proper names. Right. Right, so... Right, so we went over titles. Like, you know, the President of the United States is capitalized. Right. Um, the first letter of every word in the beginning of a sentence is... As a state. Right. And names, like for example, Oscar Martinez is capital O, capital M. Um, and every state in the country. Yeah, but those don't come up quite as much. But yes. Okay, so. Read on, but uh, um, Read the next sentence and then we'll pass the torch to some other poor schmuck. So I mean, far, student. this was what I did. I mm -hmm. crossed so far out because I believe should have started sets with so. And I put, I have been, after the period on pub, I put, I crossed out the so far. Mm -hmm. I have been bitten by three mosquitoes, comma, two spiders, comma, and one red ant, period. Okay. So, so would you agree this, like this goes back to actually several things. But the first is, yes, Ms. Rosen? Now, we, if we don't take out so far, I think there should be a comma at the pump and then so far. Because that's what I was going to do. I was going to be comma there. Because so far, I mean, it's separating it. And it, now he took it out and made it, and made it, uh, put, See, put the a period. Okay. Yeah, Hold on, guys. but if you leave it in, not put, put a comma, comma, right? So far is used as a uh, transitional phrase, yes. So, so, so if you on, leave it, if you leave, um, the uh, I, uh, camp, camp, and pump, and leave so far in, you would have to put a comma after the pump. Right. Keep the so far in. Yes. Hold on. Let me explain, guys. Now, yes, Miss Tally Farrell? You could leave it with a period after camp and pump because that is one complete thought. I'm at the camp, the name of the camp. In the next sentence, it says, so far, what has happened to me, I've been right. bitten by. Right, and that's what we're getting to. to. This stop there. It could be a pause there, too. Right, but this also comes down to following directions. Yeah. The assignment was, and I applaud your vigor and zeal to uh, edit, but we're not doing Complete editing right now. We're just that's doing we're basic grammar stuff. So we're not allowed to take anything out. Oh, uh, right. I, I mean, I figure I heard of well, when I was in school, so far, like, you never want to start a sentence. Or right. right cause I'm you don't want to do that if you're writing an essay on All the King's Men or One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. 
But if you're a camper who's writing home to his parents, we're starting at low and levels also, here. So. It fits right there. Right. So, so it's used as a transitional phrase. So okay? So we're not taking anything out. So then I'm not put adding a comma. Anything. Yes. So so far, I no 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 no. no. Hold on. No, put a period after comma. Put a period after comma. I was going to write a sentence good. off like he said was so far. Yeah, but this, this is written by a third grader. Okay. Yeah. So okay, we, we we're starting it. basic here. Okay. Really Moving basic, on. just so when it gets more advanced. Okay. Who would write it on? Well, it's since it's I already called it. I write right. business letters. But uh, we know. Put the S capital letters as so far. Right. I have bitten by three mosquitoes, comma, comma. two spiders, comma, right. and one red ant. Period. Good. Okay. Uh, this is a tricky thing, and I'll make a brief mention of it now. But you see that's a list. Three, well, it's a number, followed by, you know, a noun, a person, place, or thing. Another number, another noun, and then and, and then final number. That's listing. And you always want to use commas like Mr. Martinez. Yeah. Right? Um, there's actually some doubt. There's some styles that say you don't need that last comma. Um, under, after two spiders. Because other people argue that and does the work of the comma yeah. for you. That's Those tend to be more old school writers. No, I, I am not very old, but I prefer that sense. elegant style. You will always so use a comma for and or and or what? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I there's would. no. It's not wrong to have two commas. Right. It's just a difference of stylistic opinion. Right. All right. So I'm going to switch to Miss Talia Farrow for number three. It so it's only hurts. When yeah, it I'm only hurts. Mad. It only hurts when I laugh, period. Good. All right. Okay. Uh, so Mr. West, so... We didn't put a capital I on it. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, that was assumed. Yeah, it's just the beginning of the sentence. Good point, though, yeah. Jenna. Okay. I didn't do that. Either. All right, so <laughs> after the... See, because I would have put a comma there also. You're going to the next... I didn't see, look at it. Like that. I would have put, I mean, put, put a comma there. I thought it was one part of the sentence because he was talking about the spiders that they right. mm -hmm. And it hurts when I lay a period. Then the period, right, and then mine would be capitalized because exactly. he's going into a new, a new subject. They're not a new subject. He's okay. A new subject. Well, let's see what the teacher says. It only lasts. All right. It only hurts when I lay a period. One red ant. It only hurts when I laugh. Period. Because, the, yeah, hold on. Guys? Uh, Ms. Tyler Farrow, uh, Kenneth is working on his own thing. He's in the front camper. Huh? He's in the front camper with us. What? Chris, I swear to God, Chris Heisen wrote this. You hear? Have you ever noticed how many of his stories start with "When I was in summer camp"? <laughs> there are a lot. All right, now then. So, new sentence. Capital M. My counselor's name is Chris. Comma. Comma. He calls me Spot because I have so many bug bites all over me. Period. Period. Would the M be capital? Uh, with the what? The MP capital? Yes. Oh, sure. Yes. What, my yes. Is yeah. It's the first letter of every. It's the beginning sentence. of a sentence. So right. now he's. What he's trying to say is pretty much. Once you know there's a pause, once you know there's a period, you already know that the next letter is going to be capitalized. Exactly. You would use a comma instead of making that another sentence? Right, right. Yes, I would use a comma because we're going to do. I, I would prefer, at least in my writing style, have a more complicated sentence than simple yeah. staccato one, two, three sentences. Which, while not wrong, you see them in businesses, business writing a lot, but this isn't business writing quite yet. And I'm going to indulge my own personal You'll preference. usually hear that pause. Yeah. When you usually hear that pause, you throw that comment. Mm -hmm. uh, wouldn't that require a and? Is that the comment taking the no. place of 
My no. counselor's name is Chris, and he calls me. No, not really. my counselor's name is Chris, comma. He calls me Spot because but I had so many bug bites all over me. For me, it sounds like a brand new sentence. It can be. There's I'm nothing wrong with making a brand new sentence. Right? Am I correct? But it's still a part of that whole mm. sentence. You hear what I'm, you get what I'm saying? Oh, this is a whole... Okay. It, look, Miss Tyler Farrell, your way isn't wrong. It's just a difference of stylistic opinion. Oh, okay. You see? Right. So there's nothing wrong with making it. My counselor's name is Chris. Period. Capital H. He calls me Scott because I have so many bug bites all over me. Period. There's nothing wrong with that, inherently. Oh. Okay. There's, there's just also the option of making a more complicated sentence like I did. And then you call my counselor's name is Chris, comma. He calls me Scott, comma. No. No. Or period. No. He calls me Scott. He just goes on. Where'd you put your period? My counselor's name is Chris. Come on. He calls me Spot because I have so many bug bites all over me. Period. Period. Right. It's you don't need two code. No comma. No comma. You don't need two. You just need the one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, thankfully, one of the great things about I is that no matter where you see it, at least alone, it's always going to be capitalized. All right. So. I like having a nickname, comma. I just wish it was another name besides Spot. Period. All right. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah right. Right. Good for you, Rosalind. You see why? Good. Do you don't or you do? It's excellent. Huh. All right. Capital I chopped it. I chopped it. All right. Capital T. The food here is worse than I thought it would be. Comma. Period. Period. Yeah. Period. Period. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I want to right. Because we don't have anyone. Where are you going, Mr. Roslin? To the bathroom. I'll book my bed. I'll work it done. I know. Period. 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 Chance right. that we'll figure it out. Okay. All right. So, all right. They say it will start tasting better to us after a couple of days, comma. I guess if I get hungry enough, I'll eat. I'll eat anything. Period. Hold on. They say. If I get hungry enough, is there a comma? If I get. Uh, I'm lost now because I'm thinking about something. It's the third sentence. Are you thinking about food too? A couple no. of days. I thought it would have been um, a period. No. I put a period. I put a period there. No, dude. I put in the report. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I put a period there. Tasting better to us Being after a couple of days. Way. Okay, where are we? All right, so right now, Behind we are. Days. We're they. They say it will start, start tasting better to us after a couple of days, comma. I guess if I get hungry enough, I'll eat anything. Period. Period. Okay, there's no comma after enough, and where it's days is a comma, not a period. Okay, gotcha. Yes, but okay. let me let me reiterate, like I did with Miss Sally Farrell. Right, it could be. It could be. your style yeah. and a break. Yeah. Right, and if a third grade... And I feel if you're still right. talking about the same subject in that sentence, keep it together. Yeah. Okay. But you know, know, if the third grader was writing this, it would probably be here, instead of you know, a comma, a period. Set, it's staccato it's sentences set, because been, their yeah. thoughts are short. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Right. right. But since yeah. none of us here are third graders, we're allowed to take grammatical liberties. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Robbins. If you had someone to send you a care package, there's another sentence before that. There's another sentence before that. Yeah, you're talking to your mother. We're missing well. You're starting yeah, with well. Yeah, there's another sentence after anything. Alright, so. Yeah, well starts the next sentence. Capital W. Well. I will put a comma here. Yes, because that's the point of it. It's a placeholder. Right. right. Like, you know how people say um when they're not really sure what to say? Or like well. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, well. Well. Right. Well is a placeholder. There's a, there's you a hear that pause, too. Well. Okay, I'm going to circle that. So yeah. you didn't have it there, leave it All right, so that's where a comma would go. Yeah, leave it blank. Yeah, leave it blank. And then okay. I'm going to turn it in. I'll have a look. Remember, guys, you're not correcting as you go. I'm still going to, I'm going to see your guys' yeah, first efforts. I'm just going to circle over the sign. All right, so I can tell where you are. All right, so. 
Well, comma, I really miss you guys, and I hope you sh send me a pear cat package real soon. Period. 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 Yes. Period. Mm. I crossed out said, but... So I, in fact, you know what? I'm going to comment here. Just put said, capitalized said. Yeah, capitalized said. Ah. I thought it would sound better, just brownie chips go. Mm -hmm. Brownies come with chips. Okay. Go. Yeah, All right. really I really miss you guys. Instead of oh. putting a comma there. Hold on, we have another list here. We're not getting into semicolons yet, man. Semicolons <laughs> are a real thing. I really call. miss you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, but we're not going to get into semicolons yeah. until at least next week. All right. I promise. Yeah. I really miss you guys. I have a, I have a, um, a comma. Well, I really miss you guys. And no, I but know. and is doing the commas job. Yeah, yeah, the okay, commas and then don't get too many too soon because you have well comma. I really miss you guys, comma again. Oh, see, I didn't have the comma there. That's why. Yeah. I I was doing a run on words. Well, you know, teachers own, like you said. Right. No, I mean, I didn't have it. I didn't even think to put it there. So by putting the comma there, then you start to talk. So if you put a comma after guys, it's like you're breaking it up. Okay. Well. Really miss you guys, and I hope you send me a care package real Go soon. soon. Then send should be a new. I had a period there, right. and then I wrote send brownies, comma chips, comma <coughs> gum, and bug spray, and then I put comma. You're a happy camper, Jamie. Well, yeah, it'd be paragraph break. Signed, you're happy camper. Right. Right. Okay, so I did that right. Yeah, that was correct. I thought it was brownie, comma, chips, comma, gum, comma, and No, only brain. because I used this one, it, I realized that it said gum and, but on the other I one with the end, I put comma. that. All right, not bad, guys. You did better than I expected. Can you pass your uh, sheets this way? Yes, please autograph them so I know whose they are. I'm going to go over them, see what your levels look like. Yeah, where you see a line is where it should be capitalized because there's a period. I dare there. say I'll decipher it in the end. Yeah, I'm not sure you have. I You didn't have my dad uh, I'm sure you will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what's for us next? No, we're not done. Oh, we're never done. Snake oil was still in fashion. You it's might find secret. me doing it. It's a secret. I'll keep your secret. Your sweetheart. All right. So, what we're going to do, at least for a little bit, ah. so that's what other things do. Why did I just think some of the things we can change around here? Thank you, Miss Jada. You're noting. You're, uh, Proposal has been noted, um, which is, of course, bureaucraties for shh. <laughs> now then, we've been warming up to a little bit more interesting assignments. And these assignments are going to have writing prompts. What? Okay. All right, so what I'm going to be sending you guys is basically a combination of all that we've done so far. Now, I remember Mr. Uh, Martinez, if he can pry himself away from his digital analog, um, you said you wanted to use more of the vocabulary in a sentence, right? 
Right, so we're covering that, we're covering new vocabulary and words that are easily confused. That's the first two part. And the last part is uh, a writing prompt that requires a minimum of six sentences. I'm actually going to bump it up to ten sentences because I'm a sadistic uh, jerk. Oh, yeah. Ten whole sentences, ten good sentences. Um, Alright, so I'm going to send this out to you guys. It's going to be fun, let me tell you. And then you're going to get working on that for the, fir for the remainder of class, and there will be another one attached as your actual homework. Why? Well, we this one right Alright, watch. You say, why? You just said. Because I am the devil himself. Six. I bumped it to ten, that's it only four more. Look, with writing prompts ten. like, oh. you know, you're sending it to me and telling us what the homework is going to be. No, 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 with the homework attached. So say it again, say it again. The homework is attached. And let me make something clear. Attached to. Okay? While this is an attached document, you're only to print it out once you have written the answers inside the document using Microsoft Word. I cannot be more clear about this. Handwriting is a bugger to read. It takes me like twice as long to read something that's handwritten as something that's typed. And as for the writing prompt, you're going to click at the end of the instructions and hit double space, and you'll get a new page. And then you use that for your writing. Then you save it, send it to me as an email. All right, as an attachment. I'm going to send that to you guys right now. And we're going to do that. So what about next and pass assignment? Don't worry about that. I want to see how long this sort of thing takes you guys, and then I'll gauge whether this is homework or not. Okay. Since, as Mr. Guarantino has pointed out, I'd rather have students who work in class than freak out and can't do it. All right? Sound fair? Sound fair. Yes, that would be good. Fair-ish, anyway. That was helpful. Sorry, that's my automatic response to those things. Um, not that it makes it any less rude. Are you finished it now? Um, just get it. I just got all you guys uh, into the shoot, as it were. And you're calling it next in class time. Clash slash homework if you don't finish. Now, is there a class tomorrow too? There's a class on Thursday afternoon. Thursday afternoon. Remember. One to four, right? One third to four. Yeah, one third to the four thirty. Word and time. It's definitely not fun to have because that's what I opened up. So you haven't sent it yet. No, I haven't sent it yet, but it'll be out in the mail. Oh, we can we'll wait for exercise. Yeah. yeah. Basically, it's. Classwork that will become homework if you don't finish it. But you should have ample time to write. Right. Uh. All right. One quick question, guys. What do you think is uh, more amusing? A writing prompt that says, My greatest joy in life is X, or the most embarrassing moment I had when I was a child? Which is more fun to write about? Say the first one. My greatest joy in life is, or my most embarrassing moment as a child. My greatest, life. My greatest life. joy in life is joy my in life? grandchildren. Your grandchildren? Wait, 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 yes. Why don't you make it more interesting? All right. Well, what my do you think would be more interesting? My greatest joy in life, other than my family. Okay. Right. Because in this way, you got to think of something for yourself. Yeah. That was a question that I was asked. From no, that's family. the greatest joy of my life, my grandkids. I know, but make it something other than It isn't family. nothing else. Okay. Well, then write that. There, there is, is nothing, nothing else. else. Then write that. Life? <laughs> my life? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm pretty much the best thing in Miss Jenna's life. What? No, I said this class is the best thing in your life. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Oh, totally. You're right. I'll write yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, 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 no, he's right. He's You're right. right. Yes. I had to commend you for that one. Because right. without you guys, I don't know where I'd be. 
still looking around for the next job. But now I can get free skills and don't have to pay it back. And that? Oh, I saw you packing or the oh, girls. I don't have to pay back a student loan. You're right. That's right there. Huh. Right. I got something. Oh, oh yeah, I got something right now. All right, all right, hold on. Plus our opportunities that they offer. Yes, sir. I love these guys. All right, let me see this. I was a little twitch in the beginning, but you know. Yeah, yeah, I got you. You'll get to love I remember you in keyboarding class. You were a lot of fun to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't just stop and say a lot of fun. <laughs> we put a comma. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, oh, that's really nice. You were a lot of fun and to deal with. It. Yeah. I think I'm gonna find a job where I can talk a lot. You're a stand-up comedian, Miss Jetta. You know my friends tell me that everybody. I have my friends cracking up when we out there. My family. My one guy. He said, "I'm taking you down to Laugh House on Thursday because I said something about this guy. I had everybody in stitches." He said, "I really need to be a comedian." Yeah, there's a thing about comedians and actors. They both have an absurdly high rejection rate, but when they make it, they make it. You have to have a really thick skin to be either. All right, so that's done. It's all in your inboxes. Even yours can. All right, so I just set them an assignment. It's probably going to take them most of the rest of class.